Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to one question a day. The question that we are going to discuss today is in the chapter dentin. Very important essay question. Lead question will be the types of dentin. So we need to talk about the time of formation, how the various types of classifications of dentin happens. This will be accompanied usually by other questions like discuss in detail about the primary dentin, secondary dentin, or even about the age changes in dentin. Some other lead sec follow up questions will be there, but the prime crux will be on the classification of the types of dentin. Types of dentin, depending upon the physiological time of formation, it could be classified as primary, again, which has a mantle and the circumpalpal dentin, secondary dentin, and tertiary dentin. Primary and secondary dentin is classified based upon the root completion status. Tertiary dentin is the reactive dentin, reparative dentin, and osteodentin, the type of response it re receives or provides with the noxious stimulus. The position, it could be radicular dentin in the root, coronal dentin in the crown. The tubulars, it could be intratubular between two tubules, intratubular or peritubular surrounding the tubules is intratubular or peritubular dentin and intraglobular globular dentin depending upon the calcification process the area that is relatively uncalcified depending on the changes seen it could be a sclerotic dentin dentin detrax transparent dentin dental caries related changes all these are later changes and these are the types of dentin that you have to oh, discuss this will be the depending upon the timing primary root, before root completion classified as mantle dentin first ever formed the bulk of the tooth circumpalpal dentin after root completion secondary dentin next is your tertiary dentin in response to a stimuli which can be reactive reparative or osteodentin in nature depending upon the position that in crown is called as coronal dentin that in root is called as radicular dentin depending upon the tubule formation intratubular dentin between two tubules dentinal tubules Surrounding every tubule will be your intratubular or peritubular dentin. Then they have a interglobular dentin. This question not a type, but a calcification abnormality. Then you have, depending upon the age changes, you have sclerotic dentin, dead tracts, dental caries related, transparent dentin, etc. So you'll go over the primary dentin formed before to the root completion mantle dentin, circumpalpal tendin, first form dentin immediately below the DEJ, less mineralized as compared to the circumpalpal dentin and we have type 3 collagen fibers called as one craft fibers. Circumpalpal tendin forms the bulk of the tooth very close to the pulp and increasingly mineralized at least by 5% but it has a low collagen size. The secondary dentin after root completion very near to the pulp. Both are distinguished by a distinct line sharp demarcation line tertiary dentin formed in response to a noxious stimulus such as dental caries restorative or reparative procedure or even trauma predentin is a type of dentin that is unmineralized newly formed dentin very close to the odontoblast it is unmineralized upon mineralization they become dentin about two to six micrometers in thickness two meters one meter micrometer in an adult six in an actively secreting dentin secreting odontoblast peritubular around the dentinal tubules immediately around the dentinal tubules forms the literally the walls of the dentinal tubules they are hyper mineralized structures most importantly they are lost in decalcification whereas intratubular dentin is lost this procedure paves way for our clinical significance of acid etching phenomenon very important point the difference in this calcification and decalcification is utilized for acid edge phenomenon in restorative dentin. Intratubular dentin formed between two dentinal tubules remains intact on decalcification, contains more of organic, inorganic hydroxyapatite crystals. That brings us to an end on the discussion on the types of classification. This classification is very important from exam point of view. So stay connected with our channel to learn more. Let us connect again with another session of One Question a Day. Till then, happy learning.